welcome. Today we're gonna do a skin fade and we're gonna do a scissor cut using two fingers on top. We're gonna start the haircut. We're gonna start with the left side. We're gonna use number five on the third lateral section and we're gonna cut all the way to the back. We're gonna use number four a bit lower than we used number five. We're gonna use all guards from five to one and a half in a diagonal position to avoid making lines. We're gonna use number three a bit lower than we used number four. I'm using for the haircut the Clipper Gamma Ergo Cordless. We're gonna use number two a bit lower than we used number three. Continue in a diagonal position to avoid making lines. Use the one and a half a bit lower than we used number two and continue until the back or middle of the head. When we do haircuts that require a lot of etchings of guards, we're gonna do one side first and then we do the other side. This way we avoid the excess walking around the customer and also we can save time. Open the blade to use the 0.5 for half and make the line of the fade going down. Close the blade to use number zero and use it a bit lower than we used the 0.5 or half. We are prepping the area to later cut the rest of the hair using the trimmer. The rest of the hair on the bottom cut it using the trimmer. We are using the trimmer Babyliss Pro FX Gold. Use number one with an open blade, mostly using the border of the machine and we're gonna go from right to left, we're gonna open a way that we're gonna blend with the one and a half and also we are gonna keep in consideration that we're gonna use number one with a closed blade and later we're gonna use the 0.5 or half to blend the line of the fade. Try to leave a decent space so you have space to work. Open the blade to use the 0.5 or half, mostly using the border of the guard. We're gonna clear the darker areas. This is the most important step of the cut. We're gonna cut from right to left, only clearing the darker areas. We're gonna cut one darker area, then we jump the lighter, and then we cut the next darker area. We are cutting from left to right, and I did a close-up in this section of the video, so you can see from a close perspective the use of this technique. Remember, you don't have to blend the line completely with the 0.5 or half. Remember, we're gonna use number zero and then we're gonna go back to clear the darker areas left. It. As you can see, I'm using the clipper in a diagonal position using the border of the clipper's blade. This way you can cut with more precision the hair that you wanna cut without using the entire blade of the clipper. This way you can avoid making a line. Close the blade to use number zero and we're gonna go back to clear the darker areas left it using the border of the clipper's blade.
remember to brush and clean the hair cut it so you can see clearly the hair that you want to cut we're gonna use the shaver mostly using the border of the machine and we're gonna cut from left to right until the middle of the head remember don't bring the shaver too high so you don't make a line If you make a line, you can blend it using the trimmer. Continue with the right side, we're gonna do the same procedure, we're gonna use number 5 on the third lateral section. Using the technique trapping the hair against the clipper to cut it. We're gonna use number 4 a bit lower than we use number 5. We're gonna use number 3 a bit lower than we use number 4. Remember we are using all guards from 5 to 1.5 in a diagonal position to avoid making lines. We're gonna use number 2 a bit lower than we used number 3. Use the 1.5 a bit lower than we used number 2. Open the blade to use the 0.5 for half and make the line of the fade going down. Close the blade to use number 0 and use it a bit lower than we use the 0.5 for half. The rest of the hair cut it using the trimmer. Use number one with an open blade and we're gonna open a way that we're gonna blend with the one and a half and also keep in consideration that we're gonna use number one with a closed blade and later we're gonna use the 0.5 or half. Use number one with a closed blade and stretch the scalp to change the angle the hair grows. This way you can cut shorter and with more precision. By stretching the scalp you are provoking the hair to stand and this way you can cut shorter. This is the most important step of the cut, open the blade to use the 0.5 or half, mostly using the border of the clippers blade and we're gonna cut the darker areas. I did a close up and I didn't edit the video in this section so you can see from a close perspective the use and progress of this technique. Remember you don't have to blend the line completely, remember we're gonna close the blade to use number 0 and we're gonna come back and clear the darker areas left it close to the line. Close the blade to use number 0 and we're gonna use the border of the clippers blade and we're gonna go back and clear the darker areas left it close to the line. As you can see sometimes I'm using the clipper in a diagonal position using the borders of the clippers blade. This way you can cut with more precision the hair that you wanna cut. This way you avoid using the entire blade of the clippers and make a line.
we're gonna use the shaver mostly using the border of the shaver's blade and we're gonna cut until the back or middle of the head. If you make a line using the shaver you can blend it using the trimmer. the top we did it with scissors we are using the cutting scissors and we're gonna cut using two finger touching the scalp we're gonna cut in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position on the crown area we're gonna use one finger touching the scalp connect the guideline we did in the middle with the right side Connect the guideline we did in the middle with the left side. Remember on the crown area we use one finger touching the scalp. This way the hair is gonna be longer on the front and shorter on the back. In this case we did solid cuts. On the crown area we're gonna use one finger touching the scalp. Connect the hair on top with the third lateral section. We're gonna make the edge on the front area, we can use this part of the comb to flatten the hair against the skin, this way you can make a straight cut. You can cut this part of the front area in a diagonal position using the trimmer. We did the edge or outline on the front area, now we're gonna use the straight razor and the shaving cream. We're gonna start shaving the middle and then we're gonna shave the right side and the left side. Also we shave the sideburn area and the neck area. In this case we use clay paste with a strong hole. Apply the product in your hand and use it in proportion. This is the final result. This was a skin fade using scissors on top. We used two fingers touching the scalp and we used in the crown area one finger touching the scalp. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. These are some of my previous videos, I invite you to watch them, if you like them, hit the like button, share it and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram by Blessed Blade.